Lineup: No changes from the squad that beat Sunderland. Number eight there, Ross McLaren, continues his restoration to the vital engine room task just in front of defence. And with playmaker Mickey Hazard and leading scorer Craig Maskell both absent with injuries, there are further opportunities for number seven, Nicky Summerby, and Steve White, who wear number 11, striking alongside Dave Mitchell. Well, Millwall in their blue come here third in the table. They're without the versatile Alex Ray. He's suspended, but the South London side with plenty of form. So men to watch Phil Barber, number 11, played in the FA Cup final of uh, 1990 for Crystal Palace, that six-goal thriller against Manchester United, Manchester winning 1-0 in the replay. And watch number eight, James Morley and John Goodman, number 10. They've got 23 goals between them. One of the big reasons Millwall are having such a good run. And it's referee P.L. Wright from Northwich in Cheshire. And we all hope he is. That's Barber, number 11. Scores goals from midfield. That's Glenn Hoddle. Good to see him recovered from the heavy cold he's had all week. Glenn, of course, uh, looking to this crucial run of home matches coming up for Swindon to really establish themselves in the promotion stakes. After this third place Millwall today, there's fourth and fifth place Tranmere and Portsmouth coming here, and then the leaders, Newcastle United, Kevin Keegan's side, four weeks today. So it's all to do for Swindon now in this... Uh, end of the winter they can sew up a super future in these next few weeks here at the county ground they've got the opportunity in these virtually six pointers Ian Dawes on the ball experienced player former Queen's Park Rangers fullback they like to play football Millwall they showed they could play when they beat Swindon 2-1 uh, at the Den in September. Excellent football match, I'm told. Two good footballing sides. Swindon, in fact, rated that performance by Millwall the best side they've played this season. So we should be in for some excellent football this afternoon. Bit of a two-footed tackle there on Barber. Millwall won't want to lose this lad. So Barber's recovered, and number five there, Colin Cooper, will line up this free kick together with Bogey. Cooper, a dead ball specialist. He's got four goals this season. This is probably how he gets them, but uh, not that way. Andy Roberts with the throw. whose superb goal for him last week helped Swindon win at Sunderland saving that penalty deflected onto the goal post Digby very much in form Andy May former Bristol City there with his first aerial touch Andy May number four Bodin to Lee Bodin to Mitchell to chess blunder there by Casey Keller of the United States. Lucky to recover from that one, young Casey. America's number two goalkeeper. Need to do better than that if he gets in the World Cup side, won't he? Mitchell. And wins the corner kick of Paul Holsborough. Paul Bowden to take it. Better known lately for scoring goals, of course, Bodin, the left fullback, has scored in each of Swindon's last three matches. What a remarkable sequence. Let's see if he can lay one on here for somebody with a well-taken corner. Taylor was there, and there's a chance for Calderwood. Wow! An indirect free kick given against Swindon, but what a good effort there. 
from Bowden's corner. The dangerous trailer connects with his head. There was the chance for Calderwood. But then the infringement. Kerslake overlapping, doesn't give it, it's another chance there and a very good header by Mitchell in terms of accuracy but the power not there, once again the flag up for offside though against David Mitchell, see the confidence of Somerby on the ball there, went on his own, good cross, good positioning and heading there by Mitchell but offside. Stevens to Bogey. Takes on Hoddle, but uh, loses out when Bodin nips in and Ling to Kurzlake. So plenty of space now for Kurzlake. Gets his old QPR teammate Dawes. Barber robbed there by McLaren. There's a booking here. to write indicating to Barber that it's the second time where we've spoken and this time I'm going to be writing so Glenn Hoddle to take it and another good effort there Mitchell's effort there Hoddle's lovely curving spun free kick Taylor's up there, Mitchell's up there, Mitchell gets to it, nods it down. Would it have been good to have another boot on the end of it for Swindon? That didn't happen. Near miss. White, good first touch. Two against one, though. May. Oh, that's a dangerous pass there by Andy May, and it's let Ling in. And again, he uh, let, it, let it run that a little bit too far, and Andy May survives. Confident player, but he's given it away. This is very dangerous. And he's very lucky to get away with it, Andy May, there. That was a suicidal piece of play by Andy May. Look how he put his side in trouble. Vic McCarthy, manager of Millwall, could have a few choice words to say about that, I would have thought, at half-time. This is Martin Ling. Cooper against Mitchell, and a little nudge, I thought, there by Mitchell, and they got away with it. No foul, throw to Swindon. Summerby against Dawes. Corner kick. <laughs> Summerby's corner then. Well, Hoddle in position, but didn't connect. McLaren did connect. When he does, he does. That hurt. Good play there by uh, Roberts to save Millwall. Hoddle. Morally. Getting a bit desperate, Millwall, with some of their work. Calderwood. Ling. Goodman, lone soldier there, taking on Taylor. Barber. Dawes. Barber. Cooper. Bogey. Holsgrove. Stevens. Millwall happy to keep possession. They're still level at nil, nil away from home. They've still got a point. They're not bothered. 
Goodman. Hoddle. Lee. Early ball for White. Yes, he's got away from his man. There's a chance here for Steve. Oh, what an excellent goal by Steve White. 43 minutes gone. Swindon Town 1, Millwall 0. White's fifth goal of the season. The old warrior is pleased about that. Former Rovers player, former Luton Town player, Swindon Town man. Been around, knows it all, 1 0, good goal. Well, there was only one problem for White. Would that ball bounce off his backside away? No, he controls it, turns, loses his man, and what a good finish. Well, that was a rocket shot there, wasn't it, there by Holdsgrove, but Digby had that covered all the way. that second goal Mitchell now here's the space yes yes up goes Taylor and another one yeah oh my goodness me Sean Taylor so close there to his ninth goal of the season for a centre back and that's a rich ball well let's dwell on the skill there of Glenn Hoddle former England Calm, cool and collected, lovely cross, nearly 2-0, but it is 1-0. Steve White, the goal scorer, the game came to light near half-time. Swindon valued for their lead, they made the greater number of chances, and Steve White brought it to them. So at half-time then, Swindon Town 1, Millwall 0. We'll see you again after the break. Joan, would you say that driving the Rover Metro is as exciting as being a world-famous star? So, welcome back, then, to the county ground for the second half of this crucial First Division match between Swindon Town, playing right to left now in their usual red against Millwall. The home side, one goal up, deservedly so, too, from that man number 11 there, Steve White, who's won that throwing. Some of to take it. Lovely afternoon for football. And there's been a deal of it, mostly by Millwall in midfield. Swindon play their better football near the box. They made the greater number of chances, might be more than the one goal up. But whilst it's still the one goal, Millwall believe that they can certainly get something out of this match. Third, third place Millwall, of course. Sixth place Swindon. The figures tell the importance of the fixture. Taylor. Flicked on. Mitchell. First touch letting him down. This is Goodman, a bit of a chance here because uh, Morrill is there. It's two against three now. Calderwood blocks Morrill's shot. Morrill gets away again. And Calderwood's tackle, corner kick. No. Goal kick. Swindon crowd love that. Huddle getting a boot in there. And again. See why. Rhino uh, gives it the full trick. And that's very, very dangerous there. That looked to me like there was contact between Stevens' forehead and White. This could be very, very difficult indeed for the referee to sort out. 
There appeared to be a contact between the two of them. Wyatt wants to shake hands. The linesman is having a word with him about it. Millwall won't want to lose their captain. But he is having his name taken by referee and he's uh, got away with a booking. White is also being booked. Takes two to tango, I suppose, is the uh, bottom line as far as the referee and linesman are concerned. Casey Keller with the goal kick for Milner. Taylor against Goodman, and there's only one man going to win that. And again. And again. Kerslake, good play. White, it's Cooper. White battling away. Summerby. Excellent play by Swindon. McLaren. To Taylor. Mitchell arrives, but uh, Swindon throw. Ball voting to take it. Right against Cooper. Summer beat. Spread it. McLaren. Super pass by McLaren. Kerslake. His options are a bit limited though at the moment. Not now. Ling's made the run. Kerslake. Bad cross. All that hard work spoiled by the one error. Good ball by Barber to Goodman. Swindon have got four men back. Goodman has to go on his own. Bogey. May. For all Millwall's pretty midfield patterns, they've yet to really test the Swindon goalkeeper with anything difficult. White's not offside, he could score here. Well, you see how clear away he was, and maybe he should have shot earlier there, but no, he took it on, and then it became difficult, and Casey Keller won. Mitchell, McLaren, White chasing with Cooper, Kersleg, Mitchell, again his first touch letting him down a bit today Mitchell, but Swindon still have it through Summerby to Kersleg, Summerby, beats Barber, shooting chance for Bodin, sort of a Football League record. The ground buzzing with excitement at that. He scored at Grimsby, he scored against Wolves, he scored at Sunderland and now he's scored again. Paul Bowden. And when you see how the ball comes to him and the confidence with which he hammers it home, there is a man who knows where the goal net lies just lately. I should say so. Four in four games as a defender.
Cooper. The wall have got to come forward in greater numbers now, or they're, or they're beaten. Andy May, Goodman chasing, Hoddle policing. Goodman wants a penalty, Mr. Wright, well placed, wants none of it. Millwall fans behind that goal were hopeful. Goodman's offside now. Goodman working hard against Hoddle. Hoddle's cool. Goodman's got ten goals this season. Calderwood to the rescue. Swindon survive. Barber. McCleary. Barber. Nothing for all this passing. Hoddle in exactly the right place. And Summerby and Ling. And what a way to break out. Super football by Swindon. Accurate, penetrative, good positioning passing. And Summerby still got it. And that's a free kick and maybe a booking. Looked a little bit uh, intentional, didn't it? That is Mr. Wright is going to forgive him. Summerby and Hoddle over it. Leaves it to the boss. Oh! Oh, what an intelligent shot there by Hoddle. Casey Keller had taken up a position to catch a floated free kick and Hoddle spotted that and went for goal. And Casey Kelly did well to get back. So some of his corner kick. Hoddle setting it up for McLaren, he can hit them. Now he decides to place it. Woo! Seven is Summerby. Oh, hey, that was a smart shot. That's a return by Allen, but Kersley understands all about that. Finds Summerby. And McLaren can't quite keep it in, but the throw is Millwalls. Barber with it. They've got 15 minutes to try and get three goals to win the game. Who bet on that? Clarence foul. So free kick. Oh, what a good catch there by Fraser Digby. Well, as the free kick comes in, McClure's header is good, but Digby's read which way to go. Good catch. Paul Bowden, ever available. Now White's on side. He's looking to find Mitchell, no doubt. No, ran out of steam in the end. Bowden, link. Hoddle. Bowden. Link. Hoddle in space. Oh, what a good shot. Took a deflection off Stevens, otherwise that was going to uh, test the goalkeeper. Lovely shot there from 53 England caps, Glenn Hoddle. Some of his corner. Chance for Taylor. Says. 
the way, the big fella fastened onto that. He was going to give it some well, he wasn't he? It took a bit of a deflection. For Casey Keller, it's 3-0. For Sean Taylor, yet another goal from this goal-scoring defender. Taylor's ninth goal of the season, and his main job is to stop them. Nice bit of bonus, isn't it? Bowden, Link, Hoddle, Link. And referee right brings an end to a splendid afternoon for Swindon Town. Bowden's lovely goal made it 2-0 on an afternoon when uh, we were mostly in charge. Millwall Trossman in midfield. Number six there for Swindon was such a rock at the back that Millwall was snuffed out as an attacking force. And goals from Steve White there, Bowden and Taylor bring Swindon Town a third consecutive First Division victory for the first time this season. This is a significant move by Swindon in the promotion stakes. A super afternoon for the home side. Ten and a half thousand people saw a good match. Millwall underlining that good as they are at the den, they're not so potent on their travels. And this is a significant victory by Swindon over one of their promotion rivals. Swindon Town 3, Millwall 0. No. Well, Mark, you were at the county ground yesterday. High-class entertainment? Yeah, very good value for money, Swindon, Alistair, to be fair. Wasn't a lot in the game until they scored the first goal. Millwall, lots of pretty passing without really putting Swindon under any real pressure, but fully deserved the victory, Swindon.